Okay, we talked about him last week. Um, you know, his agent did an interview, was kind of going at Barca, going at Xavi, saying that the manager doesn't talk to him and he doesn't understand why this kid can't get any game time. And yeah, it's just all kicked off at Barca at the moment, considering uh, Roque. And yeah, he's being linked with the move away from the club. He's only been here for about a few months. And it looks like he's going to leave in the summer on a permanent transfer. That's actually crazy when you think about it, because I never heard of him until Barca signed him, right? Like, I'm not going to sit here and lie and act like I watch Brazilian football. I don't. Yeah, I hear about the players, but I never really heard of Victor Roque until Barca were interested in him. And they ended up spending, what, 40-something million to bring him in during the January transfer window? And for Barca, that's a lot of money right now. So I definitely thought that they would have played him a lot more than what they did this season. But with his agent coming out saying that Xavi hasn't talked to him and he's not getting no game time, this just lets me believe that him and Xavi never spoke. Like, Xavi never wanted him. This was more on Laporta and the board at Barca wanting to sign him than the manager actually wanting him. And what Barca are doing right now is very risky because we all know that all these Spanish clubs they're all looking at Brazil, right? Like Brazil is a goldmine for young, talented players. And what they're risking is possibly ruining that relationship for a little bit by the way that Victor Roque has been treated. Because what a lot of people don't realize is Estevão Willian, the young winger at Palmeiras that everybody seems to be talking about nowadays, shares the same agent as Victor Roque. Now, Estevão is being linked with the move to Chelsea, and it seems like they're going to get that deal wrapped up any day now. Like, Fabrizio could tweet that, here we go, at any minute. But in the future, if Barcelona's finances come together and they're able to spend money like what they used to, why would a young Brazilian player want to go there, at least while Xavi is there, seeing how Victor Roque has been treated? Like, they could have let him stay in Brazil. He could have kept playing and then maybe join the club in the summer. But they've just uprooted him, brought him to Barca, and all that he's been doing is just sitting on the bench. I think he's played maybe 10 or 11 games. He scored like two or three goals for them, but he hasn't really been seen since. And it is a bit surprising because, as I said, Barca spent about $45 million to bring him in. And I know that that deal is probably in installments, but that's still a lot of money for them because they say that they are financially uh, restricted at the moment, right? That's why they want to sell players. That's why they got guys taking pay cuts. But with that being said, Roque is a player that must have a lot of potential and teams value him because they're saying that Tottenham, May United, and Chelsea are monitoring his situation. So big clubs, not Tottenham, by the way, that Tottenham are not a big club. Chelsea, Man United, th those are big clubs. Tottenham just have a big stadium. Let let's just be honest here. And if you're Roque, I would say you should leave on loan. You should not leave permanently. Go to like Girona, right? Go to a team that don't have a big budget. They don't have a big squad. So they're going to have to play you. And Girona play good football. They're in Champions League as well, right? Like, why would you want to permanently leave the club? Maybe the relationship is fractured. But, yeah, I'd go out on loan because Javi's probably only staying there for one more season and just assess the situations after that. But this whole thing is a bit puzzling. Like, it, it's weird. Like, th this is why, as a player, if you don't speak to the manager, you should not join that club. Because if the manager does not have you in his plans, it doesn't matter if the board wants you there. It's the manager that is selecting the starting 11. It's the manager that's out there making the substitutions. And if he doesn't rate you, now you end up like Victor Roque just going on stadium tours and watching football game from the bench because he's not playing. And what's so crazy is Barca don't have anything left to play for. So why not go out there and give him minutes? Why not see what he can give you? There's rumors that Robert Lewandowski might leave this summer. The Saudi clubs are circling. Why not give this guy a nice little run out? Who knows? But they're saying that Xavi don't really want to depend on him. He doesn't really see him as a player that can help the club. And there's some reports that are saying that upper management agree. So it's like, what the hell? Like, what has Victor Roque done in training for everybody to just be ready to let go of him after six months of being at the club? Like, this guy was compared to Edric. This was 
supposed to be a thing. This guy couldn't even last half a season. That debate ended real quick. Everybody thinks that Barca only rushed and signed him because Madrid are bringing in Endrick in the summer. I don't know if that's true or not. But, yeah, he has to be considered a flop. If they end up selling him on a permanent transfer this summer, that has to be one of the weirdest moves that we've seen in recent times. And maybe, I, I don't know, it, it seems a bit dodgy to me. You know, maybe he's had a falling out with Javi behind the scenes that we don't know about, but his agent was pissed. And his agent does not understand what's going on. Maybe the relationship is fractured between the player and the manager. And if Barca, they've already begged uh, Javi to reverse his decision. Because remember, he was supposed to leave at the end of the season. But I think Barca just couldn't really find any other managers available that they liked, right? Like, if you look at all the managers who are going to be, um, that you could possibly go get, None of them really stand out. And the managers that you would want are already at clubs that, that they're probably not going to leave. So I think they realize, look, Xavi, this season, yeah, we didn't win anything. We were shit. But last season in Xavi's first, we won La Liga and the Spanish Super Cup. So you know what? Maybe we could just convince him to stay and he could do something next season. Who knows? But if the relationship is fractured between the manager and the player, then yeah, uh, Victor Roque has to leave unless it is confirmed that Xavi's last season will be the next one. And then, you you know, just go out on loan, try to ball out there, and then maybe the next manager will like you a bit more than this one does. But yeah, it's a bit of a weird situation. But look, Tottenham, Man United, and Chelsea are all keeping tabs on the situation. I mean, which one of these clubs do you think he should go to? I mean, if I'm being honest, I think Chelsea are the most attractive option out of these three teams because Tottenham again it's Tottenham I don't like them I don't believe in them they don't win trophies and Spasikoglu plays a nice style of football but let's just be honest why the hell would you go to Tottenham like I, I don't really understand the attraction um of that club like when players sign there it's, it's just like that you might as well go sign for let's say like Newcastle or something like I think like that's around where Tottenham are but May United they don't play good football at the moment who knows what's going to happen with Ten Hag? Um, you know, I think the players at that club, it, it's more bums than there are serviceable players. You know, you're, you're going to be a striker having to depend on service from Garnacho and Anthony and Marcus Rashford. Yeah, that's not just a good place for you to go and thrive as a striker. For me, Chelsea, it makes the most sense. They create a lot of chances. Nicholas Jackson has been very wasteful this season. And if Victor Roque is as good as what people thought he was, he'd go to Chelsea and bad goals. Because even though they've kind of been mid this season and they kind of have hit their form recently i think chelsea are not as bad as what everybody wants to make them out to be i think that they do have quality in that side i think they are the right manager away from being right back in the top four and competing for trophies again and they actually competed this season they went to wembley twice they were in the fa cup final or sorry the fa cup semifinals, and they should have beat man city and then if we're being honest they should have beat uh liverpool in the carabao cup final so I think out of these three teams, Roque, go to Chelsea. But let me know in the comment section what you think about this whole saga that's going on between him and Barcelona at the moment. But.